Number three, Penn State, and number four, Ohio State, square off on Saturday at noon Eastern time in a game that will be played at State College, Pennsylvania, otherwise affectionately known as Happy Valley, the home of the Penn State Nittany Lions. And right now, the Ohio State Buckeyes, the team with one loss, is a three-and-a-half-point favorite over the higher-ranked uh, Penn State Nittany Lions, who are undefeated. So uh, you want to know who's going to cover this game? Or you want to be put on the winning side? Just stay tuned, folks. In just a moment, I'll go through my analysis and finally my pick on this game in terms of uh, from a betting perspective. In any event, uh, a couple things to go over real quickly with you. So I, I ask you to stay patient for just a second here. Uh, there is a subscribe button underneath. If you haven't already subscribed to Wager Talk TV, I'm not sure what you're waiting for. It's 100% free to do so, and you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world. So just hit that subscribe button again. 100% free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, folks, um, while you're at it, go into your YouTube settings and click on that alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be notified upon any of our uh, future content being published on our great channel here. Also, there's a like button. That's for you to hit for me. I would appreciate that very much, folks. It's just a small token of your appreciation for the time, work, and effort I put into bringing you a quality free pick video each and every day and each and every week. So uh, let's get to the meat and potatoes, and that is the game between uh, the Penn State Nittany Lions and Ohio State Buckeyes. Ohio State, um, a lot of you'll hear a lot of handicappers and people say that this is a perfect, uh, last week was a perfect sandwich spot for Ohio State, meaning uh, a potential flat spot. And if they said that last week, they were correct because Ohio State is a 25 point favorite struggled at home against unranked Nebraska, winning 21-17. to As a matter of fact, they needed a late touchdown to win that game and also a late interception uh, to secure the win as well. Uh, in that game, they were held to 285 yards of total offense by Nebraska. And again, people will make the case, well, this is a good bounce-back spot for Ohio State. I get that because – they had played Oregon the week before. That's number one Oregon. Lost that game by a point at Oregon as a favorite, by the way. Um, and then they had Nebraska in between Oregon and their upcoming game against Penn State. I'm not buying into that. Uh, I would definitely say that those types of situations should always be accounted for. And I'll use that on specific occasions. But this isn't one of those uh, situations I am going to do so. Uh, this is a Penn State defense uh, that's that's very good. This, I mean, you're looking at uh, they're allowing just 267.4 points per game and number eight in scoring defense at 14.3 points per game. And I say that because of the listless offensive effort that Ohio State had last week against Nebraska, uh, in which uh, the Cornhuskers – may have laid a blueprint down how to defend this Ohio State offense. And let me just say, um, I think Ohio State is a very good team, and they're probably going to be a playoff team, even with two losses, if, if indeed that occurs. Um, however, I don't think Ohio State is the quality they were last year when they didn't make the four-team playoff, and they uh, finished 11-1. and one. So, let me get that out of the way, and if I take some flack for saying that, I could understand, but that's truly the way I feel. Uh, Ohio State has defeated Penn State six straight times. Certainly something you want to take into account as well, but out of those six wins, they failed to cover in four of those six contests, and a couple of one-point wins were mixed in there. Uh, Big-time revenge spot for the Nittany Lions in Speaking of Penn State, they're coming off a pair of quality road wins at USC and at Wisconsin. And even more so, they overcame halftime deficits in both of those games. As a matter of fact, they trailed USC 20 to 3 at the half before coming back and winning 33 30. And then last week against Wisconsin, they were down 10 7 at the half 
and they ended up winning that game 28 to 13. So this is a Penn State team. Obviously, if they get off to a slow start, you can be rest assured uh, that they have a lot left in the tank uh, going into the second half. Quarterback Drew Aller, uh, the star quarterback of Penn State, uh, he left last week's game against Nebraska with a, with their deeming as to be a lower body injury. Now we're getting to use hockey terms in college football injury reports. Interesting. But you know what? His backup came in. Um, and Bo, Pri, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Bo Pribula, uh was pretty, really good in, in relief as he uh, completed 11 of 13 passes for 98 yards and one touchdown, also rushed for another 28 yards. As a matter of fact, Pribula has played, uh, beside that game, it's played in spot duty, um, in, in mop-up duty, or whatever term you want to use, beside that appearance this year. Uh, on the season, he's 18 out of 23 for th uh, three touchdowns and only one pick. That's a 78% completion rate. And he's also run for 133 yards and a touchdown as well. So he's fully capable of coming in. And there might be a drop-off, but it's not going to be the huge drop-off we would see in other situations on other teams in college football. And uh, also, folks, uh, take into account this Penn State defense alone can keep you in the game, even with a backup quarterback. And we are getting three and a half points uh, here's a college football betting angle that uh, looks to be uh, very good. It's limited. Uh, there's not a lot of, uh, there's not a big sample size, I should say, but it's very impressive. Anytime you have a undefeated college football home underdog of six and a half or less, like Penn State is, they're playing after game seven of the season. Uh, Penn State's seven and oh right now, so they're playing in game eight. And they're coming off a game in which they covered by uh, one and a half or more points. And they're facing an opponent uh, like Ohio State that has a win percentage of 833 or better. Right now, Ohio State's at 857, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, those college football undefeated home dogs are six and, six and a half or less. And that identical situation since 1993 Eight and zero straight up in ATS. Uh, so not only have they covered all eight of those games, they've also won all eight straight up. And the average line in those eight contests was uh, the home underdog of plus four point one. Uh, so in the um, in the average margin of victory for those home underdogs was nine point nine points per game. So I'm going to take Penn State plus the three and a half over Ohio State on Saturday, November the 2nd in college football. Uh, a couple other friendly reminders, folks, so hang with me for a second here. Just want to remind everybody, my college football continues to roll. I was 3-2 and two last Saturday, uh, 113 and 78. That's 59% since uh, 2022. That's December 2nd of 2022. And over that course of time, within that 113 and 78 uh, record, uh, I've made a net profit at Wager Talk of $8,052. And folks, that ranks number one in money earned during that course of time in college football. You can get my college football annual package right now for just uh, $279. Right now, it's $329. But at checkout, if you use the promo promotional code uh, FBALL50, that's FBALL50, uh, you will uh, get $50 additional off the $329 price to take that down to $279. Same thing applies to my NFL annual package right through the Super Bowl. Uh, currently right now, $429, but by using that uh, promotional code of FBALL50, it will take that price down to three seventy nine. Uh, in addition, folks, don't forget college basketball and the NBA. NBA is upon us right now. College basketball is set to begin next week. My college basketball and NBA combined is on a seventy four and forty four run. That's good for sixty two percent. That dates all the way back to uh, March nineteenth of this uh, this year. And also, folks, that has 
uh, amassed the net profit of $9,024 over at Wager Talk. Also, my NBA sides, really to keep an eye on that. Uh, 110 and 69, that's money line and point spread picks in the NBA at 62% since uh, April 11th of 2023. And folks, that's uh, produced a net profit of $10,828 at Wager Talk. And finally, my NBA overall uh, since uh, February 23rd of this year, uh, 59 and 37, good for 62%, folks. So a lot of good stuff going on for myself at Wager Talk, and you can take uh, get that promotion uh, for $50 off NBA, or, or excuse me, NFL season package, and also my college football season package uh, by simply going to my direct link. You'll see it below, but I'll say it for you, wt.buzz slash rb. I'll be back with another college football free pick video shortly. Until then, take care and God bless, folks.